Hi everybody, welcome to Vintage Inspirations. I'm Tanya. Um, for my returning subscribers, God bless you. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. It really would. Um, I'm really trying to grow my channel. I'm so grateful for where I'm at now. Um, I just made it halfway, but um, you'll see this video weeks later. So... <laughs> You know, it's weird because I have to pre-post, but it's the only way I can do it. And just bear with it, please. If you got to understand, you know, a lot of you, my new subscribers, you guys don't know that I'm disabled. Yes, I have a, a lot of disabilities and lots of health problems. Um, I've been pushing through and because I'm getting stronger. That's why I decided to do YouTube, you know, to get me out that bed, that room, period. It's quite depressing in that bed and in that room. So this is inspiring me. It's giving me a full life, giving me energy, wisdom, strength, you name it, all of the above. Especially the people who comment. You guys mean the world to me. Well, everyone means the world to me. You know, let me not get it misunderstood because um, it's all support. No matter how you look at it, it's all support. Um, so today I'm going to share um, some of my special collections that kind of dear to me. Um, very vintage, um, lots of antiques. So um, these things are very dear to me. I didn't pull out all. I pulled out most because I don't, I don't have much of this stuff. I'm just being honest. Um, in fact, you can buy tons of it on the internet. I'm sure. I haven't been on there, but I already know. And, um, but you're going to pay up for it. It's not like back in the days you can find something for, I don't know, $5, $2 on a good day, you know? I mean, but most of these pieces I paid a lot for, like over $100, because they, it just is what it is, you know? Uh, when you have something beautiful, it just is what it is. Um, I've been doing so much trying to figure out that membership uh, stuff and the, um, I got to go live and I can open up a store and things like that because I made it to that part of the YouTube spectrum. Um, so I'm exhausted. I really am. I've been up for like three days trying to figure that stuff out. It's so confusing. So confusing in the chats with the YouTube partners make it even worse. They just as lost as you. It's just so sad. <laughs> So it's getting hot. I might need to start maybe putting a little fan near me. I may pause and get it. I'm not sure. But I wrote some things down because I know I could remember some and I can't. I really haven't had much sleep or anything to eat. Kind of vanished. But this video has been sitting here for a couple of days. I need to get it over with, moved, and move on to the next. You know, when I have things lingering around, it like bothers me. Especially when I'm asleep. Does that happen to you guys? Like when I'm asleep, I'll think about it and then I'll think about it so much. The next day I have so much anxiety, I can't even do it, you know? And, and that's why this video has been sitting here because I've been thinking about it. So right now I'm in a great mood. So I'm just got a friend off the phone with a dear friend. And so um, I'm in a good mood. So I said, why not? You know, why not? And um, okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to push the camera down and show you a display of the pieces. Do I need to do that? I don't need really to show you a display of the pieces because I'm going to show you piece by piece any old way. So, but I do need to, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to put, I'm going to, I think I'm going to use this today. So I can have it right here, right over so you can see. Because I want you to see, yes. <laughs> and I still haven't told you guys what, what it is. So I guess I'll read some. I'm trying to think where I want to start. Um... <laughs> Give me one second, please. I'm trying to decide which one I want to start with. Um, uh, okay, I think I'll start with... Uh... <laughs> okay, I'll start with on this side. It's either this side or that side. Then I added some more. Sometimes when you don't do a video, you want to find other things and you add to it. So sometimes better wait late than never. Okay, so we'll start with the... Mercosites. Okay, we'll start with the Mercosites. So, Mercosite uh, jewelry was uh, made since ancient Greek. Now, that goes way back. And it was actually found, and I don't even have to read this, it was actually found in the Incas, Incas burial, like, you know, their burial sites 
when they were, I guess like years later when they went near to, um, I don't know what they were going in there for, I guess to go in there to find trinkets or to maybe find their loved ones or to get history, you know, yeah. So when they were in there, they found lots of Mercosites dating back from years ago. I mean, these, these burials are old. And it really got popular during the Art Deco period, like, like the 1920s, especially in Paris. Around that time, those Paris expeditions, Art Deco went just to the roof, you know. Um, if you don't know about the um, expeditions, you need to Google it and do some research. It's an amazing spectrum of time, amazing. Um, all that we celebrate uh, today as far as antiques, or traditional ventures came from those expedemic, expeditions, <laughs> yes. And I learned about that in interior design. Um, so, um, it's, I'm sorry, let me, just, I guess I'll just show you a piece. Well, maybe I'll just show you the piece that I have on because I am wearing a piece. And Mercosites sites are mostly in the Art Deco style. Cause it's around that Art Deco period, you know. Um, so I'm wearing a beautiful Gloria Vanderbilt watch. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I love Gloria Vanderbilt. I don't have that many. I think I have two pair of pants and one or two tops and one I don't even like. In fact, it's in the laundry room to be donated. <laughs> but then I think I changed my mind. So it's still in there. It's been so much. But this is a beautiful Gloria Vanderbilt watch. Um, Watch is full of uh, kind of like um, some type of uh, kind of like a filigree, and that's going to be the next topic. Kind of like a filigree, but it has these beautiful mercosites in it. And I'll show you close up, but it's just this is dear to me. And like I said before, I had two of these and I sold one. Kind of wish I had kept it, you know. At that time, I wasn't into mercosites, you know. But I knew to keep one because it was beautiful and it was antique, so I knew to keep one. But, And I think I kept it mostly because it was Gloria Vanderbilt, and I always loved Gloria Vanderbilt. As a child, I always loved it. My mom really couldn't afford to buy it for me. Like, I had, I had some, but, like, I wanted a lot, you know, and she couldn't afford to buy me a lot. So, as I got older, every time I saw Gloria Vanderbilt items, they kind of drew to me to bring back my childhood because I really missed my childhood. And my younger teens, my early teens, I lost. And then I had my daughter at 20, so that's all she wrote. So um, I think that's why I love my collection so much, because it brings me back to all that time that I missed. Yeah. So um, it's an iron sulfi with crystals. It's made by setting small pieces of faceted stones into silver. And I think all I have is sterling. I've never saw mercosites in gold. I'm sure they have it, like in museums or something, but far as like in public, you know, in the wild, in the field, it's in sterling. I really think you can't set it in gold. I didn't research that, but I really think you can't. It's just something, they just put it into sterling silver. So, um, and it's always like the paddings is always repetition. I tried to write it so I could understand it. It's always like repetition patterns. like, And then it has tassels like the earrings. I have several earrings that are like tassels. They like, because this is how they, that's kind of significant to mercosites in that Art Deco period. The tassels, the symmetry is always symmetrical like this watch is so symmetrical and mostly everything else that's here it's just they repeat the pattern see how it's repeated and this is an art deco feature when the pattern is um repeated like that it's an art deco feature which you see in my top that's why i wore it today it's in the Art Deco style. You see the patterns are repeated. That's the Art Deco style. So this, this is a fabric. I don't know if this shirt is from the Art Deco period. I don't know. I didn't even research the designer. I guess I need to, but it's definitely in the Art Deco style. You know, the fabric itself. Um, you see how they repeat the pattern? Yeah, repeat the pattern. 
Now, you might have a shirt and the pattern's repeated, but it's not in the Art Deco style. It has to be a certain print, like, like circles, squares, triangles, and it has to be symmetrical. You know, like these are all symmetrical. So with that said, I'm going to stop the camera. I think I'm going to use this one so I can get right over. And I think I better grab a fan because <laughs> these lights are bright. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think we got a good shot. And let me, this is the watch that I was showing you. And you see how it's symmetrical? It's so symmetrical. Let me make sure I'm filming. Where's the time? Sometimes it's hard to see it. Okay, there it is. Okay. So you see how everything is symmetrical on this watch? It's just totally symmetrical. And um, that's, you know, Art Deco style. It's a gorgeous watch. I love it. Yeah. So I used to sell, like, grab bags of jewelry, and I just decided to put one in one day because... I had two, you know. <laughs> I can't wear two, and they are, they were twins. Like there was no difference. Okay, so I guess we'll start um, with this piece. We'll just start with this piece. And this says nine two five. Actually, this needs to go with my abalone uh, jewelry because it has that abalone shell in it. You see it? You see how it's symmetrical, and it has like repeated designs and it has that you see that art deco style yeah uh, you know this is just a gorgeous it's a brooch sorry it's a brooch and I just I love it to pieces I love it to pieces um I think you know it's difficult sometimes because like it's Marcus site but then it's abalone so that I put it with my abalone so um you know, sometimes you just, you can't match all your jewelry sets, so. Uh, but this is just, just perfect when it comes to market site and art deco. Just a hundred percent. And I'm, I'm trying to express it because I want you to kind of understand that art deco, you know, so when you see it, you know to pick it up. It'll never go by you again. Um, even like this with the black and that design, that hexagon kind of stop sign stretched out shape. So Art Deco, so Art Deco. This is another brooch. This is onyx, I believe, because it's. I don't think it's any other stone, but onyx they would use at the time. And then you have the beautiful marker sites going all around. Just so gorgeous. I mean, they are beautiful. It look like diamonds, but when you use your loop, you can see that it's not. <laughs> and this is, of course, sterling silver. This is the back. It's a brooch. So gorgeous. I don't remember where I got this piece. It's so long ago. I can't even remember. Even long ago, I still remember some things. But I guess when I got it, it wasn't like something. It wasn't like a story behind it. Or I didn't interact with the person who sold it to me. And then normally you don't remember when it's those type of situations. But it's a beautiful, beautiful Art Deco pen. I just love it. I love the Art Deco era. I have some uh, other Art Deco things other than jewelry. I, I guess I'll do a video one day. I don't know if I have enough to make a video. But it could be a short video. So I think I'll do it. So I could explain to you. Uh, art deco and interior design and in, in interior design instead of just jewelry yeah um this is another beautiful ring and i believe that's a citrine or i'm not sure i'm not 100 percent sure maybe a garnet yeah i believe it's an orange garnet and um you have that same repeated pattern and the same symmetry it's just beautiful just beautiful. Just to die for. See if the light can go through. It's just beautiful. Um, this piece is so substantial. What I love about this piece is it's so old that it's carved out. When you have sterling silver or even gold, even like brass pieces, but especially I'm talking about sterling silver, when it's a carved out piece, it's very, very special. 
because some pieces are not carved, and that's how you can tell the history, too, when the pieces are carved out. Uh, I wish they made rings like this today, but unfortunately they don't. It's just, they, they, it, you can't break them. You can't destroy them. That's why they lasted all these years, because the construction is amazing. It's 100%. You know, this is just a beautiful ring. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't fit me. And that's why I never wear it, and it's a bummer. See how beautiful it is? So, um, you know, I mean, of course it fits my pinky finger, but how does that look? Um, I don't think that looks good at all. My granddaughter doesn't like this, so, because I guess she could wear it, but I don't think she's into this Marcusite style. She does love sterling silver. It's a beautiful piece. I love how they facet it. The little, okay, so Marcus Sites, like it's sulfur, it's, it's, it's pyrite, but then it's not pyrite. It's hard to explain it because they don't actually use the pyrite, but they mix it with something and it kind of forms into a pyrite. And then they facet it down and then insert it into the sterling. And it's just amazing. If you look at it with your loop, man, it's just, it's beautiful. I, I love it. I love these things to death. I can't get enough. Um... And I'm sure when I get monetized, I will be ordering a lot. And when they come, I'll do the un unboxing on camera. So, also have this beautiful piece. It needs a stone. And I guess this doesn't fit me either. Well, I'm just figuring that out. Yeah. I think I got this in a grab bag. Um, I guess they didn't want it because it was missing a stone. But I could easily put a stone in it. I, this was in my box of things that I need to fix. And so it was right here on the shelf, so I just grabbed this out just to add to the video. But, I mean, it's also beautiful. It's in the Art Deco style. You have the same repeated patterns all the way around, and it's so symmetrical. These sides are the same, and these sides are the same. It's beautiful. I'll find a little stone to go in there. That's the back. This is a carved piece, too. It's just it's not as uh, detailed as this one. Yeah. Nevertheless, it's beautiful. Oh, my God. You see that? And all of these shapes and symmetrical patterns came from architecture. That's, what, that's how they started making jewelry. And talking about that, uh, people making jewelry, I want to talk about this beautiful lady, Judith Jack. Um, her and her husband in the 19... So it's two years after my I was when I was born. That's the only reason why I remember. 1969. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, 1969. Yeah, because I'm born 60. Yeah, 1969. Her and her husband, they used to sell um like Victorian um well estate estate. Uh, Antiques is what they used to sell. And they couldn't keep up with the demand. You know, every time they would find some of these market site pieces, they couldn't keep up with it. So they just decided to go into business and start their own company. And this is her necklace. She's a beautiful lady. I love her to death. You can Google her name. is, uh, You can Google her. Her name is Judith Jack. Of course, her husband built the company with her, but you barely hear about him. I don't even know what he looks like, but she is beautiful. And um, her jewelry is beautiful. And I have a lot. Most of these pieces are Judith Jack. And let me show you her um, back stamp. It's kind of like a diamond shape or like a triangle, however you want to call it. I don't know. Let me see if I can show it to you. Can you see that? I think you can see it. It's a, like a diamond. And let me use my loop so I don't want to tell you wrong. So it should be a J and a J, yeah, Judith, I mean, yeah, Judith, a J and a J. And it always has sterling underneath, that's how you know that it's vintage. Doesn't say 925, some of them might, but mostly they're going to say sterling. And this is a beautiful necklace, beautiful, beautiful. And you see how it's symmetrical and it has those beautiful, beautiful, shapes on it. It's just beautiful. It has those beautiful patterns. You can see it. 
this this necklace is in perfect shape. There's not one marking site missing. Oh, I forgot to tell you, these marking sites come out, but you can replace them. In fact, I have a bag of marking sites, so I need to replace some. But, you know, they come in different sizes, so um, you got to make sure it's the right size that it'll fit into the little hole that's missing. Uh, this is a beautiful necklace. It's, um... Just slide right in. I'm not sure what these claps are called. I think it's called a safety clasp. I think that's what, well, that's what I call it. Just And that's how it would sit on your neck. Um, just, just beautiful, simple, simple, but it's definitely Art Deco. Can you see the Art Deco in it? Just, it's just like my shirt, you see that? It's like symmetry. It's a beautiful necklace. I'm going to put it on the mannequin so you can see even better. I have other things on the mannequin, though. Because I don't want to put the camera up and down. So I just use the mannequin today. Um, but isn't that gorgeous? I know. <laughs> and that's her, Judith Jack. Don't forget to Google her. Yeah, she has some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pieces. I just, I love it. I'm so blessed to have this. I really am. So blessed. It's just beautiful. Like, I, I, I can't just, I, I know I keep saying it, but I just can't get over the symmetry in the piece. And, the you know, the repeated shape, the repetition of the patterns. It's just beautiful. Uh, it's art, you know, it's art. It's architecture. That's where it came from. It came from architecture. Okay, enough of that. Since we're talking about Judith Jack, so I have another necklace that belongs to her. And you can see the little diamond shape right there. And it's similar, similar class, safety class, similar. This one's a little more chunkier. I'm trying to get it out. It's a little bit more chunkier because this necklace is much heavier than that one and it's much thicker and of course you have that beautiful art deco style the repetition and the symmetry it's just beautiful this one is missing some marker sites at least four yeah. it's not my favorite but um i have it it's not my favorite and it's funny because when i bought this i didn't even know it was judith jack until like uh, some years later yeah i just thought it was another marker site necklace because i didn't even look at the back and um, it's beautiful. In fact, this one is going into Art Nouveau, period. You can tell, because you see how this one is flowing more so? Then this one is more pattern, and this one is more like flowing together. So this one is probably leading into the Art Nouveau period, and then they came up with that wavy floral, like a leaf flowing into one another. So even though it's in the Art Deco style, it's Art Deco going into Art Nouveau. Hope you understand what I'm saying, yeah. Because I can't say this is an Art Nouveau piece because it has that <laughs> repetition and that symmetry of the uh, Art Deco period. But I'm looking at it, it definitely looks Art Nouveau. So I want to say Art Deco going into the Art Nouveau. And I'm going to show you where the marker sites are missing. There's a lot on this piece. I, I think it's more than four. Can you see the... Uh, well, like here, it's, it's like gold spots because it's kind of like tarnished. I don't know if you can see if it's coming through. I can't tell. But um, there's a lot missing on here. Um, a whole lot. I'm at least... I'm counting... I'm up to 15... But nevertheless, it's still a beautiful piece. And I have the marker sites. Um, to, the person who sold me this sold me the bag of marker sites. So I just need to take my time and stick them in there. I need to get like, I don't know if I can use crazy glue or whatever. And I got to Google it to make sure I use the right glue. I think even a man could use this, you know. Or it, I, I believe it's unisex because it's kind of a little masculine too. So, Like this one is very feminine. And um, that one has a little masculinity. This one is much heavier. The sterling weight is way thicker than that one. And of course it says sterling right underneath the little mark. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, moving right along. I guess we'll just go to the Nick necklace. And this necklace has very small marker sites on it. I'm trying to see who made it or what does it say. It says Sterling. And I don't see a designer's name though. It just says Sterling. Yeah. And it's just a regular chain. But the marker sites are independent. It's around. And though you have the Victorian front, but that pendant, the plate of the pendant is in the Art Deco style. You have the symmetry and the repeated designs. And it has the marker sites around it. Can you see that? It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I love it. And I often do wear it. I often do wear it. Very, 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 very feminine. Like me, you know, I love feminine stuff. I used to be tomboy a little bit from time to time, you know, here and there, but I'm very feminine. <laughs> okay, what do we do next? Um, I guess we'll go with some of the earrings. Let's see if they have a signature. Um, no, this one says 925. These are so cute. Of course, they have that Art Deco look. They are beautiful. Nice, chunky piece of sterling. Oh, man, the marker sites are so beautiful. What I like about this one is some of the marker sites are circled and some of them actually square. Which those other pieces, I didn't have any square marker sites, but this one has. You know, can you see it? It's like rectangle shapes of marker sites. They're just beautiful. Beautiful. They're awfully big. I know. So, um, you know, one thing about these pieces, um, you have to concentrate. You really have to concentrate. These are beautiful. I wore these one time. I never wore them again. I'm not sure why, but maybe I'll wear them tomorrow. <laughs> Normally when I pull this stuff out, I tend to start wearing it. <laughs> this was a recent find. Uh, I think we got these from the Salvation Army, I think it was. Yeah, this was in one of my videos. I can't remember which one. Um, they're gorgeous. What I love about them, they have that tassel. And there's a lot of tassels going on in the, um, Art, Deco, the Art Deco style or that period. These are gorgeous. On top you have square faceted marker sites and then on the bottom you have the little round ones you know they, it's just beautiful i just love it gorgeous 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 this is a great find there's one marker site missing on the top you see that and it's a square one that'll be hard to find yeah that'll be hard to find i, I think you can probably order them these are beautiful let's see if there's a designer's name on it let's see two marks there's a designer's name. Oh, I can't make it out. It might even be Judith Jack because I'm seeing two letters. No, it's not a J though. Oh, it's so, so tiny. Let me check the other area. I think I'm seeing an F. And this one's even more though. That one's even worse. <laughs> oh, MF. What's MF? They might know that because I Googled that one time, NF. Um, I can't think of it. I don't even have my uh, tablet to Google it. But I believe it's MF. Okay. And these aren't terribly old. They say 925, but um, they're gorgeous. They haven't worn. I hate that that one marker side is missing, but if you win them, I'm sure nobody could notice it. Thank God it's the one on top, so you can't even really notice it. And then I have these. These are my favorite. These are 100% Art Deco. Do you see that style? Oh, my goodness. It reminds me of the Art Deco columns, you know. <laughs> Just beautiful. And yes, they, it's a tassel. That's significant to this type of style airing. 
these are gorgeous nothing's missing out of these these are my favorite they even come with the backs oh that's just beautiful i love them i even want to put them on but i don't want to keep moving the camera let's see what the mark says on this one Mm. Okay, I don't see a mark on that one. Let's try the other one. These are beautiful. They set this so beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Let me see if I can hold it up to here and make sure that you're seeing them properly. Well, let me check the signature on it back of this one first it's there it's very tiny see I need to clean these you see how tarnished they are in the back so I can see it but it's so tiny I see the look it says sterling but I can't make out the designer's name and now I'm thinking there's a signature there too I probably just need to clean it but earrings don't people didn't sign both earrings so you got to check both I will never part with these. Never, ever, ever. They're gorgeous. Um, when I normally wear this necklace is when I wear those earrings. And it just looks so stunning together. Let me show you. Now, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> yes, it's gorgeous. I really don't have any sets. You know, I have to, like, create sets. Yeah. I have to create sets. I really don't have any sets. Uh, maybe I'll be fortunate to buy some. Uh, if you, if anyone wants some of this marker site, you can buy it on online. People selling theirs because they go for good money, so they want to make the uh, money. Um, I can't sell my collections. I'm too much of a hoarder, so I can't sell. Sorry. I don't know how they, how they how they're able to even let go, but. They're just not attached to it, or they have so much that they can let a couple pieces go. You know, that could be it, too. Yeah. You're going to pay up for it, though, because they're not letting it go for nothing. So if you're going to get it, you're going to pay up. This is a gorgeous little necklace. It's a pendant. It's a beautiful pattern on it. It's kind of almost like the filigree underneath, and then they put the marker site stamps on top. It's just gorgeous. It's a little purse has the hinges is so 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 cute it's sterling just want to look at them oh my god they're just beautiful and this is kind of a different technique it's kind of like a muddy marker site like this one these are similar they're different from the other one the other ones are more uh detailed and more characteristic that's because there's different designers you know in different parts of the country so you have different sterling as well too can't forget that and um, these two are a lot similar, where the marker sites are like kind of sitting on like some filigree material. Um, it's just, just beautiful. Um, I, I never, I don't think I've ever worn this. Maybe I'll wear it, you know. I know when I got it, it was really, really tarnished and it shined up beautifully. It's just gorgeous. It looks like diamonds. It's just so, so, so beautiful. And this is a beautiful brooch. Just gorgeous. And I just love it. And you can see these things so good on this black. Just beautiful. It's a bow. It's like a little ribbon. So, so cute. Weird on your scarf. And what else we have in here? Here's another brooch. This one is definitely Art Deco. It is stunning. Stunning. Little, but stunning. Let's see what the mark says on this one. Uh, sterling, which I already knew. Because you can tell it's an older piece. I don't see a designer, though. Oh, this is, design oh, this is Judith Jack. What? I never knew that. Or did I find out on the last, because this was my first video I did my Merkel sites, my first video that I uploaded to YouTube. <laughs> um, the Judith Jack mark is right there. Let me show it to you. Okay, let me point it out first so you know you're looking at it's going to be right here in this top corner. I don't know if you can see it. I can't tell. 
you know, I can't tell, but I'm trying to show it to you. I can't believe it. Wow, I didn't know that. And then maybe that's why I love it so much. Wow. <laughs> I find out so many things doing these videos. Wow, this is a beautiful piece. In fact, I'm just wondering if this necklace, this bracelet is Judith Jack, because it looks just like, I mean, this is like a set. I said I didn't have any sets. This is an actual set. It's just beautiful. Um, oh, I just love that Art Deco style. You see how they repeat the patterns and how it's so symmetrical? It's just amazing. Beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I wish you could see it. It's just beautiful. If you have any, use your loop. It's just so beautiful the way they just... Oh. Okay, let's open this up. And... Um, mm, I don't think it's Judith Jack because I'm seeing something and it's not a triangle. <laughs> yeah. But this has a safety clasp on it as well. And you can barely see because it has all those uh, marker sites on it, but it's there. It's just beautiful. Okay, let me look at it. Mm. So tiny. No, it's not Judith Jack. <laughs> To CW. I guess I gotta Google these other people. CW. Oh, no, 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 no. It's upside down, I think. I think it goes this way. Looks like an M. Mm. No, it's CW. Okay, CW. Yeah, I have to uh, Google some of these other designers. I'm not familiar with them. I'm familiar with Judith Jack because I did a um, little research on her one day. And then I started buying her um, jewelry whenever I would find it. Yeah, I, mean, I just love how they made that class. But I'm looking at it. Judith Jack didn't do stuff like this. So that's a whole other style. And I can see it in there. Another style. Um, but, um, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I know I'm blessed to have pieces like this. They're so, these are state pieces for sure. And um, I have to teach my kids about this, you know, so when it's my time, they know that this is not costume jewelry. <laughs> it's not diamonds either, but it's not costume jewelry. It's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. In fact, I want to leave this on. Put this on. It's just so elegant. And this is not a light piece. It's very, very... Uh, the sterling is a lot of weight. Very substantial piece. It's not heavy, though. But it's not light. And, um, it's just, it's beautiful. It goes perfect with this shirt. That's why I wore this shirt. Um, that's a tip. When you wear in jewelry, try to wear the clothes to match it. Oh, we don't have any more earrings. We have another ring. This is a ruby ring. My sign is Cancer, so ruby is my own sign. And of course, this doesn't fit me either. I knew that this didn't fit when I bought it, and I still bought it. Um, you know, I tend to wear these on my uh, necklace too. So, like, I've worn this on my necklace before. It's just beautiful. I love to wear rings on my necklace. Um, so, this one has marker sights on the side. And it's definitely in the Art Deco style. You have that stacking of um, repeated repetition. There's a marker site missing. I'm just noticing that. That's a bummer. In fact, there's two. One on either end. This bottom one on the row and this top one on the top. It's so sad. Let's see what the uh, mark says. I can't even make it. It's so dirty. I need to take time and clean my pieces. It's a C. That one just has a C. A CW. Okay. A couple of my pieces were by CW. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay, I'm coming. I'm just trying to grab some of these things here. And then I have uh, this beautiful bracelet with more rubies. And I'm just, you know, I got blessed when the person wanted to sell it to me. 
I bought it immediately because I'm a Cancer and that's my um, birthstone. It was just a blessing that he happened to have this with rubies in it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's just a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. Of course, it's in the Art Deco style. I don't have to tell you. So symmetrical, repeated patterns. And let's see what the mark says. I'm trying to find it. Okay, there it is. Oh. That's 925. I don't see a designer's mark, though. Yeah, I don't see a designer. They didn't sign their piece. They just put 925 on it. This piece isn't that old either. It's not as old as this one. Like I say when when you have nine two five, it's a older. It's not as old as when you have sterling. That means it's an antique for sure. What time does that clock say? Oh, it's not been a long time. It seemed like it's longer than what I thought. I'm getting vanished. I was vanished before I started. Isn't that a beautiful clasp? So gorgeous. So beautiful. And this piece isn't as as may isn't made as beautiful as this one. It's a huge difference. You can even feel it in the weight and the texture of the piece. But um I still love it because it's my birthstone, you know. So normally I would wear it with this ring and then I wear this watch on this hand is when I normally wear it. And I have like some ruby necklaces I normally wear it with. I normally wear this necklace too with another ruby necklace on top. I never showed my ruby collection. It's a very, very small collection. I think I don't think I'll ever show it. But I do have two beautiful ruby necklaces. They are to die for. And this piece is 9252. Which you can tell because it's not too old. That's not antique. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they make it in the antique style. Of course, it has that Art Deco feel. And that's symmetrical. And, um, and then you can feel it. It's not substantial. Like Judith Jack pieces and this piece. Like they have a certain feel and texture. And these two pieces are more... Uh, they're not as old, but they're just as beautiful, and I, I'm so happy to have them in my collection. Uh, this is one of my favorite watches. I love it. Of course, it's my birthstone, <laughs> and it's sterling, but the piece is sterling. It says it right here, 925. See, the mark is right there, right there 925. Let me see if it has a designer. Oh, yes, yeah, designer DBJ. I need to Google that. D as, a, as in dog, B as in boy, and J as in Jack. DBJ. I thought it said 95, 925. It doesn't. That's the initial. Well, here's the 925 right here. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Here's the 925 right there. And it's cute. It has a little heart. Let me show you. So cute. See the little heart? That is just too cute. <laughs> so DBJ. Wow. So see the back is stainless steel. It says it. It says Japan Movement. Stainless steel back 925. That's exactly what it says. And it's not that much sterling because it's not that heavy. But nevertheless, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful piece. And uh, they, they made it so Art Deco style. I love that hexagon shape, like a stop sign. So, so just so Art Deco. <laughs> oh, I have it upside down. It's beautiful. Let me see. Let me see if you really see it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm going to take some of this stuff off because I'm starting to get real hot. I have the fan on. You know, I think I need to start putting that AC on already, but my goodness, I don't want that bill. I do not want those bills. So, um, if 
probably hot because I have on this shirt. Um, here's another little dainty bracelet. Isn't that so cute? So, 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 so cute. Uh, little flowers and then little, like, leaf branches. Kind of have a little Art Nouveau style as well, but it's definitely Art Deco. And it has this beautiful, beautiful clasp. Similar to that other one, but different. Gorgeous. I put the marker sites on top right there. Let's open it up and see if this one has a maker. And these pieces are so dirty. I really need to polish. I should have polished them for this show. I didn't think to do that. That's okay, because I'll have to do this video again next year. So then I'll just pop, try to get them polished before that video at least. I'm not seeing a mark. Sometimes the marks be on the back of the flowers. Oh, okay, there it is. It says, oh, it's so tiny. So each one has a mark. It's 925. I don't see a designer name. No, it just said 925. And so some people marked each piece of their bracelet, like each link, because in case it comes apart, they want you to know that it's sterling, or sometimes they have the designer's name. No, they just say 925. I don't see a designer's name. It's a shame that they didn't put their uh, stamp on it. It might be in here, though, because these pieces, the, the design name is always in there, but it's so muddy, I can't tell. And I can see something in there, but I can't make it out. It's just too muddy. And there's something in there. I mean, it's really, really muddy. Let me show you. It's so muddy. But nevertheless, this is just gorgeous very very feminine well, I think some of these pieces could be unisex but for the most part they're all just so feminine <laughs> oh what's next what's next um, let's take this off I bought a lot of pieces from these from my friend that I got the grab bag from. And in fact, he's got more grab bags from me. I really need to get them before he uh, sells them to someone else. Uh, there's a few more pieces in here. I'm really exhausted. <laughs> but uh, here's some cute little dangle earrings. These are so, so cute. I think I picked these up on one of my videos too, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I had these, but um, the marker sites are in perfect condition. There's not one missing. And of course, they're sterling. And I don't see a designer's name. I just see the sterling mark. Yeah. They're too cute. Too, too cute. I'm just thinking of the Art Deco lady. She's standing there with these earrings in her ear, right? <laughs> yes. That's how they dress. They wore those tassel dangly things. I just wanted two more pieces in there, but we had a, enough of that. Let's move along to something else. Yeah. Let's move along to something else. And put that there. Put that right here. You got to be careful how you lay this necklace because it's so intricate, it's so delicate. You know, you have to be real careful with it. I store it flat just like that. So, um, I was going to do the filigree, but I am exhausted. I can't go anymore. <laughs> I can't. I just can't do it. Uh, I'm going to talk about a few pieces, though, and I forgot I have these beautiful. I can't, these are one of my favorite Marcusite butterfly earrings, they are to die for, to die, die, die for. I love them to pieces. Let's look at the mark. Oh, it's so dirty, can't make it out. It does have a designer, but I can just see the sterling. 
But I love how they're made. They just kind of claps on there like that. It's so, so cute. I love that. I'm not sure what the name of this is. I guess it's a hinge. It's weighed, it's weighed so, so well. And this sterling is nice and thick. Can't bend it. But um, that butterfly is just beautiful. It's just gorgeous. And when I, I normally love to wear these. They're really my favorites. I love them. And these are with my market site jewelry, but I should put them with my own butterflies because I have a lot of jewelry that are butterflies, but they stay here. <laughs> you can't never put, uh, put all your jewelry together. You can't. Uh, I guess I could put these with my butterflies. I have a lot of um, animal pins, and I guess I need to put these with them, but... They may get destroyed, you know. These you have your market sites. You need to set them aside in a whole separate everything. But I want to touch on these pieces right here, and then we're gonna end the video. Cause these are pieces that I thought were market sites, but they're not. So when I bought this, I think I paid 180 for this, and I thought it was market site, and I thought I was paying for market sites. And it's a coyote, and it's sterling, and uh, it also has a designer. Let's see. Yeah, sterling. I can't make out the designer's name. These pieces need to get clean. They are filthy. Okay, let's see if we can make out the name. I can't make it out. Only thing I can see is that sterling, though. It says Saralo. You know, when I bought this, it came with a paper, and the designer's name's on the paper. I still have that paper, but I don't know where it's at. It's an S-I-R-R-I-E-S, something like that. Cyrus. Silo. But it was a disappointment when I got home. You know, sometimes when you're in the store, you just, uh, you see it, and you just automatically think it's marker site. So I told her to put that in my bag. And I just kept shopping. And I never looked at it till I got home. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Those aren't even Mercosites. But I don't know what these little beaded things are. Uh, this is, it, it kind of has a little Art Deco style. But I'm not sure. If anyone knows what these are, um, I do know that they have these, these things on the um, Navajo pieces. Oh, this could be Navajo because it's a coyote. Okay. And that, that, I already answered my question. Yeah, so this is a Navajo piece. And again, this should go with my animal pins, but it's not with my animal pins. I might put, you know what, I might have to add these to my animal pins because I'm going to be doing that video coming up, and I'm going to want those in it. And I know you've seen it if you watch this video, but time I air that video, I have new subscribers and new viewers, so it doesn't matter. Um, this little angel, she's so cute. And whimsical. She has these little dots too. And I th I thought they were marker sites, but they're not. They're the same little beady things. I'm not sure. This is a brooch. She's gorgeous. I love her little halo and her wings. She's just a little ch she's a little chunky angel. She has her little heart. Beautiful piece. Beautiful piece. And this piece is gorgeous too. These are not marker sites. I thought they were. I thought they were marker sites. They're not. There's those little stamps. And this is the moon and a star. I thought they were marker sites up to recently. It's called Charm Charmante. Charm Manti. I had this, I think, in my other video where I was showing unusual pieces. I think that's when I noticed that it was it wasn't marker sites. And I was like, on all these years I thought it was marker sites, but it's not. It sure looks like it. Doesn't it look like it? It does. It looks like marker sites, but it's not. It's another technique, kind of like a dot. I'm not sure. And I have these cute little earrings. It's in these earrings, too. See the little dots? And these are, have rubies in them. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. You have that beautiful, beautiful onyx on the bottom. And these have a little Art Deco style. Yeah, they do have Art Deco style. I'm looking at them. They look like little towers. They're gorgeous. 
I think I bought these thrifting. Most of my pieces I didn't get thrifting. I got from people that I purchased them from or online from years ago. Yeah. But I believe I thrifted this piece in the store. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the pieces that I showed you that I just got recently. I think it was these. I'm not sure. I believe it was this one. I'm 100% I got these from the Salvation Army a couple videos back. Um, and I think I got these one of my first trips to uh, so one of those thrift stores. And I could be mistaken because I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. But I don't think I had these in my collection. And I put these, I, I, I don't even know, 13 years ago, thrifting. I had them it was a long time ago. I'm sure I didn't pay no more than $10 for the set. But uh, they're very classy, sterling silver. You have the ruby, then you have the black onyx. They're just gorgeous. But, um, yeah, you know, this could be in your market site family, but they're not market sites. And um, I feel like I have a little energy to go on, but I'm going to stop. <laughs> and we'll finish. I'll do another video. It's better, too, because I know um, a lot of you guys don't want long videos. So, <laughs> but God bless. <laughs> Love you guys. Um, if you stay to the end, God, God bless you even more. Uh, let me pick a favorite piece. Mm. favorite piece would have to be can I pick two because you got to have like earrings and something else um it's, it's got to be this one I mean this just blows me away <laughs> I mean she is just art deco at its finest a state antique you can't you can't go wrong you just can't go wrong it's Beautiful, and she's in perfect condition. That I don't, nothing's missing from here. No, none of the market sites are missing. None of the pearls are missing. It's just beautiful. And let me see another piece. If I had to pick another piece, I would say these earrings because I just love them. But then I do love the Judith Jack uh, necklace too. She's one of my favorites. And um, this is one of my treasures. This piece right here. It's one of my favorites and I will wear it you know I don't really go many places and when I go out to the Goodwill I really don't like to be too flashy you don't want someone to try to harm you to get your jewelry because this jewelry may look like diamonds and people may think I have on diamonds so I have to be real careful and if you have this type of jewelry be careful if you're going out if you're out with friends fine weird but if you're going to the thrift store by yourself or to run errands be careful because people will think it's uh diamonds you know yeah people will think it's diamonds in fact they've stolen this technique they're making a lot of this stuff now a lot of like rappers are wearing this type of stuff in their name plates with the marker sites they stay they're redoing it it's all it has all came back you know they're making some beautiful pieces I'm even interested, but I don't get to the malls. I don't go to malls because of the, uh, you have to park and walk. I can't do all of that. I have to go to a store where I can park and just walk into the store, move around a little bit and come out. That's all I can do. If, if I do go to the mall, I just suffer myself and I'm in pain for a week, you know, so. That's why I choose not to go. Okay, so with that, we'll wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, I'll show you. I'll show you this piece in the next uh, video, this piece right here. I normally wear that with that necklace, but that's a filigree piece, and I'll show you, we'll talk about filigree in the next video. Okay, so um, hope you like my small collection. It's so little, right? It's little, but it's so cute. And I have everything right Oh, Lord. <laughs> this that thing didn't hold it right. Now, how do I do it? I wanted to show you. Yeah, this is my small collection. Very small, but I just love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so since I have the phone here, you know, I got to say bye. <laughs> Bye-bye and God bless. I'm going to go get me something to eat. I'm supposed to be washing my hair today. 
and I bought the dye. I bought some dye, but I don't think I'm going to do it. And it's not because I don't want to. I just don't have the strength. Like, I need help. <laughs> yeah, I really do. Because if it was just easy just to put in, I would just do it. But you know what? I shouldn't have bought the dye. I should have just bought that spray where you just touch up. But that thing finishes so fast, and it's so expensive. For a little bottle, it's like almost $30, and then you use it like three or four times, and the can is done. Because I bought three cans since I started going gray, and I used them all up. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. But nevertheless, um, isn't this a cute little headband? It's so gorgeous. So, so cute. Looks so vintage. I love vintage stuff, as you can see. I wish I lived in that era i really do i wish i lived like I, I just would go back and wear those beautiful victorian dresses and oh, i really don't have a true victorian dress i really don't i had some i sold them but i really don't have i have victorian style clothes but i really don't have a true beautiful victorian dress you know what i think i do i have like a black velvet one sure enough i need to try to pull it out i don't know where it is I might have got rid of it because I cleaned my closet out. Oh, that's right. I got more clothes in my son's room. Yeah, I got all my winter coats. It's with my winter coats. Yeah, because it's really thick velvet. Well, I could have wore that in one of my videos this, um, this winter. I didn't think of that. Well, winter will be right back around. But love you guys. God bless. I'm famished. I got to go get some fruit. I'll make me a fruit salad. Okay, bye-bye.